Hi, my name's Jan Henderson. I'm with Alliance Dairies in Trenton, Florida, and we milk our cows on two Gia 80 stall rotaries. Alliance Dairies Group incorporates three milking operations. The mothership is Alliance Dairies. We're allowed to milk up to 10,700 cows. Today we're milking about 7,800. I am a third generation dairy farmer. I came to the dairy in 2010, and I'm not sure if it was right then that we were starting to talk about new parlors, but we knew that that was gonna be on the horizon. We wanted a parlor that you wouldn't have to have some rock stars in there for the full eight or 12 hours to get the milking done. And we knew that if we sized that rotary correctly, that we wouldn't have to spin it so fast, that that would open up the pool of candidates for milkers. The time that we decided to go with the twin rotaries, we didn't realize how unique that was. The two twins underneath one roof saved us a considerable amount of money in construction. We were able to save on just one building. We also were able to share the same milk house. We're gonna be able to have one parlor manager that just stays in that one building. So labor played into that. At this site, we have two 80 stall rotaries. We have two parallel parlors. Our plan is to start milking 10,000 cows and shut down one of the parallel parlors. So the goal is to milk 8,000 cows in our twin 80s. So the reason we chose Gia was personnel comfort. They have the arm with the auto start, so the people don't have to push a button and then grab the cluster. They just grab the cluster and put it on. We also decided a rotary over a herringbone or a parallel because of they could just stay in one position and, and the cows come to them. We can spin them slower than one big giant rotary, which then allowed us to do a full prep on our cows, a strip, dip, wipe, and attach. Without that, we would be going so fast, it'd be less than three seconds a cow to get the number of cows that we wanted through the parlor. We chose the Gia rotaries over others because we felt as though it was easier for the employee. There's no buttons to push. You grab the unit and you put it on the cow. And so that was one of the big items that just seemed like it was easier for the people. But I think it's also better on the cows. We were able to get perfect unit alignment. And I think when your unit is aligned, and the cows are going to milk out better. It's just a better experience for the cow and people. Their desire was to have the platform not running quite so fast, a little less fatigue on the workers, but the redundancy of having two platforms and with the setup of the facility behind us, we can split the facility up into two halves and each rotary is responsible for that half of the facility. The T8900, I call it kind of our legacy series. It's made in the USA, Galesville, Wisconsin. It features nylon rollers with a dual I-beam setup. Less wear, less friction, and longer service life. They wanted to have a free flow milk meter with no moving parts and longer service life. So the Digi Flow Meter gives us that. The other thing that was very positive in this situation is we had the PosiForm arm. The PosiForm arm gives us the ability for the employee to attach the unit without additional movements. So the employee grabs the unit, moves the arm forward, and automatically initiates vacuum. So it's a nice, quick, easy movement. Also, the units are always presented to the employee before the cow. So the employee's movements are very minimal because the unit is brought in the presentation position, they grab the unit, they move it forward, attach. The Digitron is the newest controls. We have just the operator control, so limiting the amount of electronics on the deck, but all the information is available here in the office at the computer. The meter itself is a free flow meter, so we get full flow through the meter, beneficial to higher producing herds. So the new flow meters benefits to them is they have a very big inlet and a big outlet, so could create maximum flow without slugging. And you get some of these meters that require a dumping feature or something, and, it, and the vacuum levels fluctuate a lot. With the, the DigiFlow meters, there's none of that. The Digitron controls are unique in the fact that they have separate lights for different things. As our employees get used to, they understand what those lights mean and can make decisions based on that. And they can also sort with the Digitron right to the sort gate. So the GIA team has been really helpful in the startup. There was a lot of people, a lot of time. There also was a lot of questions after the fact, and they did a good job answering the phone after the fact. We talk about, you know, why did you choose GIA? And we deal with people, not companies. Everybody that we have come into communication with in GIA has been just very helpful. I have so many GIA contacts in my phone now, I have to now use last names and not just first. I know this sounds crazy, but what excites me the most is the fact that it's fun for the employees to be in a new parlor. It's fun to have people come and visit 
and look at the new parlor. When they see that it, we're investing in new things, things that are making their lives easier, that's just a great message to them. I think it's also allowing us to bring more people on the dairy to tell our story.